What's up guys, John Hammond here, coming back at you with another video, and this is kind of a special one because uh, someone had asked me in the comments like, hey John, can you showcase just some like tic-tac-toe game or any similar kind of simple game in pure C or C++? Um, so I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, it's going to take me a little bit because i got to kind of wipe the, wipe the dust off shake all the rust off of my C and C++ programming, um, but I can showcase kind of what I did and how I got things started uh, for a simple tic-tac-toe game. So let's get a place to work. I'm going to call directory tic-tac-toe, and let's get in there and start to create a main source code file. So I'll put this in Sublime. That's my text editor of choice, and this is just going to be called, once I get to a place to save it, just main.cpp. Easy. Um, I'm just going to include IO stream, do a main function. Oh, see, I'm rusty. I'm like already fumbling <laughs> on the default parameters for a main function. Oh, you can use our using namespace standard too, so we don't have to use the std namespace or standard namespace for everything that we end up working with. So now um, if we wanted to, we can g++ main.cpp, and now we've just got a dot out, and it tells us hello world, cool. So let's go ahead and create a make file, so we don't have to do that every time. Um, so I'm just going to call this make file, and then I don't know if you know the syntax for a make file, but we have a file that we want to compile, or uh, our real object here, so we'll give it the rules for how to do that. I'm going to use G++, and I'm going to specify the source code here, and I'm specify the output file as just main, and I do want to use, I think it's standard equals C++ 17. Yeah, so we can use the latest C++ version. And I'm going to run a clean object so we can make clean and I'll just remove the regular like compiled binary. So now if I wanted to since that make file exists get rid of the old a dot out if I wanted to run make it will compile it for me so now make uh, sorry the main binary exists if I wanted to make clean now it removes it and we're back in action. Okay cool. So a simple make file just for easy things that we're working with. Um, now that we're kind of moving Let's go ahead and figure out how we want to create this grid in, um, well, C, C++. Let's, we're probably going to want to, I'm considering it as like an array, like a multidimensional array of characters. And by default, they will be like one through nine. So it's a three by three grid like you'd see in tic-tac-toe. So you as the player would get to choose a number like, okay, I want to be, I want to move at the position one or position eight, etc., etc., And you would fill in your, your character value like an X or an O there. I think by default, I'll just have the player be X and the computer be O. Uh, and then you will be able to, I guess, play like first thing. Um, so I want to get the basic functionality to be able to generate the grid and then display the grid out on the screen. Uh, just get that over with and done in, in this video. So let's define a macro, a little thing here, just so we can say grid size equals three. And now we can create a character grid, character grid, and we'll make it grid size grid size, again, multidimensional array, so we've got that 3x3 three three grid here, and let's create something that will generate the grid. So I'm going to do that with an integer number that I'm going to keep track of, okay, what we're actually iterating on, and then I'll do for int x equals 0, x is less than grid size, x plus plus, and we've got one loop, we want to do the same for our y, so we can iterate through the entire grid and we can just populate it with a number here. So I'm using uh, integer to loop though and keep track of um, um, the 
kind of index that we're working with, but we're going to want that as a um, character in our grid. So I'm going to do this with the string um, library or module, or I don't even know what they're even called in C, <laughs> not going to lie, in C++. So that will let me use um, to string on this integer, and it'll cast it to a string like a C++ style string. So we can take the C string of that, so it's just an array of characters, and then we can get the first character out of it. And we'll set that to grid X and grid Y. So that will populate the grid, and then number plus equals one. So I did that in its own loop, and now I wanna create a pretty much identical loop just to print that stuff out. Um, and we will separate this into a uh, game object that will have these functions on its own in the next video, probably. But I do want to create these separate loops now so we can just make them as easy functions when we're moving forward. So now we've got an iterator X and Y, and we can just go ahead and say, all right, let's print F. I'm going to print out with the format specifier the character that we're looking at and then a vertical bar, so it looks like it's going to build out like blocks or the squares for each individual um, character that's in the grid. So grid X and Y, so we get the current character that we're looking at in the grid. And that will happen as we're moving along, but at least one of the dimensions. But as we finish the end of that dimension, either X or Y, then we can print the new line that um, is going to be actually displaying the sides or the kind of like the bars in the grid, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Probably not. It's really weird to talk through this stuff. Um, so actually, let's have that go just before. So we have a bar at the very top, and then for every line or every row, we have another line going through. So let's see if this looks good. Let's run make. No errors yet. How does our program look? Okay, cool. Just about perfect. Um, so I guess we don't need that new line just at the start, because there's an extra space there. And let's get one more uh, hyphen to just build out the grid for us. Oh, got to compile. I can make clean and make, and then we'll do a dot slash main. Okay, cool. So now we've got a grid being generated and spit out onto the screen, and now we can get started for our tic-tac-toe game. So Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying this simple start. Just jumping right back into doing some C and C++ stuff. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty, so maybe it'll suck. I'm not the best, you know? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what you could do better, etc., etc. Um, but if you did like the video, please press that like button. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I could do better, etc. Um, subscribe if you're feeling willing. And hey, if you're much, if you're willing to do that. And you know what? I'll see you in the next video.